Welcome to the video abstract. Today I would like to talk about the origin of angiosperms. Angiosperms provide many materials, including clothes, food, houses, and medicines. It is not surprising that people have studied various aspects of angiosperms, for example, their history and evolution. One of the major goals of paleobotanists is finding the earliest angiosperms. Most botanists believe that angiosperms cannot be older than the Cretaceous period, namely, not older than 145 million years. However, new studies indicate that angiosperms may be much older. Ironically, paleobotanists have no consensus on how to identify a fossil angiosperm. Each of them has their own idea. This explains why they frequently disagree each other. However, this is not ideal. Angiosperm death definition has been clear since its origin. Tomlinson and Takasso gave a more precise definition in 2002. Here, I adopt their definition. Though this is an overstrict criterion, it guarantees angiosperm affinity when a plant meets this criterion. Applying this criterion, I can determine these three pre-Cretaceous plants as angiosperms. Detailed information about these fossil plants can be found in these open access papers. Nanjing anthus is an angiosperm from the early Jurassic period in China, based on over 200 flower specimens. Plenty of specimens allow us to observe the flower from various perspectives. For example, from the bottom, you can see the flower configuration clearly. From the side, you can see its dendroid style, petals, and inferior ovary. The ovules are inside the ovary of Nanjing anthus. This is corroborated by both stereomicroscopic and micro-CT images. This is how Nanjing anthus looks. Nanjing anthus implies that some gynecium in angiosperm can be derived this way, the floral axis tip expands and invaginates, and thus, fulfills the ovule enclosing. Another angiosperm, Kingenangin fructus, is from the Middle Jurassic period in China. Although you cannot see a seed in the first picture of a fruit, the internal seed can be revealed using micro-CT. In another fruit, Kingenangin fructus, the details of an internal ovule can be revealed using micro-CT. Therefore, we can determine that Kingenangin fructus is an angiosperm. Now, we know there are angiosperms in the Jurassic period. You may wonder whether there are older angiosperms. The answer is yes. Here you see two Tyuenostachia from a single specimen. They are older than 272 million years. As above, Tyuenostachia has its seed enclosed in a fruit. Tyuenostachia has its seed and ovule enclosed. The micropiles of the ovules are indicated by arrows in these figures. The micropile is a feature never seen in sporangia or pollen sacs. Details about the seed coat in figure D are shown in figure E. You can see the layering of the seed coat, which has never been seen in any sporangium or pollen sac. Tyuenostachia can be reconstructed as so. Its fruit and ovule can be reconstructed too. Note there is only one layer of integument in the ovule. Despite its Paleozoic age, the presence of both an enclosed ovule and enclosed seed in Tyuenostachia ensures its angiospermous affinity. Apparently, angiosperms are much older and more diverse than most botanists believed. Angiosperms may have derived in various ways, unlike previously thought. Do you want to show your research progress to more scholars? Contribute an entry that will be linked to your paper on the Encyclopedia platform providing an opportunity for over 35,000 scholars to access and explore your research. Have you ever tried to show your latest research in a vivid way? Encyclopedia SciPlayer provides a service with which you can transfer your research to a live video format. Do you want to publish a new paper? 
Encyclopedia has an international, peer-reviewed, and open access journal. Do you require a discount when you publish research in journals? Anyone who contributes to Encyclopedia can obtain vouchers for MDPI journals article processing charges. Encyclopedia aims to create an open access knowledge sharing platform for all scholars. To find more information, search for encyclopedia.pub.